First at 11, a tragedy on the highway and from it support for those who knew and cared for Ashley Moore. She's the Plainfield High School senior who died after a collision with an Avon school bus. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker is in studio with us tonight after speaking with two people who worked with Ashley last summer. Cornelius. Mark and Nicole, they're heartbroken. It's devastating news. A young person has her life cut so short. Ashley, who preferred to go by Ash, was part of the Madison Scouts, a drum corps with some of the most talented young people from across the country. I've learned her passion and talent for music were only exceeded by her caring personality, one that had an impact on all those who met her. As tributes pour in for Ashmore, many people are saying things like this. She had like a, a real loyalty to those around her. Incredibly kind, incredibly caring, um, was just an all around like ideal friend for anybody to have. David Lofi and Eric Pujari worked with Ash this past summer. She played in the front ensemble for the Madison Scouts Drum and Bugle Corps, one of the top corps in Drum Corps International. At the core of everything that she did um, was doing it for the people around her, for her family, for her friends, for her fellow corps members. Ash is of course being remembered by Plainfield High School's Red Pride Band, and pride is something she definitely had for her high school marching band. Everyone who got to know her and the Madison Scouts knew that. She just had the most admiration for those those people and that staff and the community and that organization as a whole. And I know that she she loved talking about those people and she loved sharing that that community with them as well. It was shared online as transferred to Plainfield schools as a freshman in high school because she fell in love with the marching band's 2018 show. She would tell her classmates that using it as motivation, letting them know they had the power to change lives with their performances since they had changed hers. I think that is like the best testament to who she is. That decision that she made when she was so young, she, she moved her life over to pursue this passion and, and to actually like switch schools to do that. Pretty amazing. What we have to learn from her is uh, a level of selflessness and humility. Um, and I think that's really the legacy that she leaves. We learned today Ash was an organ donor and she's given the gift of life to at least one person in need. It's very fitting for someone who gave so much while she was with us. Mark. A lifesaver even after death. Thank you, Cornelius. Now, if you'd like to help with a more family, you can do so by signing up for slots on the meal train that's been set up to support the family in the coming days and weeks. You can find much more information in this story on our website at WRTV.com and on the WRTV app.